Bonjour and welcome to a new unboxing video. And, and, and today we've got a box from all friends at Super 7. Uh, you know, the other guys who do all the reaction figures, the very retro looking three and three quarter inch uh, figures like Star Trek and they do Universal Monsters. Um, what they do, the worst. Uh, they do some G.I. Joe. They do have plenty of license and it's actually a new license that they have. Which I find personally very exciting because I never thought we would get that license being done again as a retro action figure collection. And the license in question is Dune. Yes, it is Dune. Dune, the, the movie, the David Lynch movie from the 80s. So they're doing a, a new series. I'm showing you the back for the moment because I want to try and reveal as uh, as late as possible the figures. But yes, so it is Dune and we do have five figures as you can see on the back. And the first one is Baron Arconnen. Then we do have the Sardaukar Soldier. And we do have, of course, Paul Atreides. And we have as well another Paul Atreides as Paul Mwadip. And we do have the final one of the series is Stilgar the Fremen. If those look or sound familiar, it's because they're very much similar to what had been done by LJN back in the 80s when they had the license. I mean, they had done six action figures. And actually, out of those five action figures, we do have four of the original. I mean, those were the the, the LJN figures were those four, plus two which were uh, Bisraban and uh, uh, who was and Fade Rotha. So, but for the moment, they've done only five. And the, what I really love about them, I and mean, we're going to have a look at them in, uh, in a more detailed way, but what I do like from the start, and we're going to start with, uh, with Spawn Atreides. Uh, first of all, the, 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 I, I find the blisters are a bit odd uh, because they are not using any images of the actors so i'm actually wondering if there is uh, an issue of lightness like for example some movies uh you may get the license for the movie but you will not get the likeness rights for the actors um so it may be why we don't have any of the actors faces on the packaging uh, at, at least that's what i i suppose uh uh because i i, I don't know but I think it's probably the case. So as a result, they've done all five figures and you do have the silhouettes of each character with blue eyes, except for the Sado card doesn't have blue eyes. And uh, it's actually a nice, uh, that's the fifth one. Um, it's actually a nice little packaging. It's very retro. Um, I'm, I'm not too fast because as you know, I, 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 it's very rare that I keep things in packaging but this is very very nice so that's the front of the package with so a silhouette image of the character and on the back you've got the five characters from the uh wave uh so without any further ado we're going to open them they're just out in the us in fact i'm very surprised i already received them um because i i I ordered them like three days ago uh, in the US and it took them barely three days to to arrive so which is extremely fast from the US so I'm, I'm actually quite shocked that it was that fast um, and shipping isn't too bad with Super 7 I, I, I like ordering uh, them directly from them but of course uh, those figures I'm pretty sure will be available in the UK uh, from the usual stockist. So anyway, let's open all figures as you can see They're just looking at one figure here. They are they look slightly out of Scale, I mean there's something not quite right with the scale of the body and The reason for it is it's actually exactly like the LJN figures were in the 80s i mean if you look on if you google it and then you, you you will look at the ljn 
figures from Dune, you will see that they are really stocky and a bit squat and not uh, really the uh, the perfect scale that you get now. So, so I think they, they've tried to reproduce that. I mean, it's visible, it's more visible in some of the figure. But this is pretty cool. So we do have uh, Paul Atreides in his uh, full livery. Uh, very, very nice little details here. And he comes with two accessories. Uh, the LGN figures came with tons of accessories, uh, which was nice. But of course, uh, the thing is with those, because we only have a few accessories. One is a knife, a dagger, and I don't think it doesn't look like a Chris knife, to be honest, but uh, it would be nice to have a Chris knife. Um, but of course, he's not supposed to have a Chris knife then. So, so we do have the knife and we do have um this gun which in if you remember in the movie was called the weirding module uh and it was the the sound gun uh they, they had the thing uh, that they put at their throat and it was the sound gun that the uh, Atreides uh, were using. So it's slightly out of scale, but who cares? Uh, I think it's a very, very cool figure. So that's Paul Atreides, the first of the figures for, for the line. Then let's go to the big body, and it's Baron Harkonnen, of course, so showing you the uh, front of the pack again. And Baron Harkonnen, I mean, it's actually fairly <coughs> obvious because of the corpulence of Baron Arconen, it's fairly obvious that the scale, the body scale is slightly off uh, and, and I think it's probably the figure on which it is the most visible that they've tried to reproduce the LJN uh, scale uh, of the figure, so, except for the LJN one, where I think they were 4.5 inches or 5 inches, if I, I, I can't remember which it was, but it was something like that, and they were down 3 3 quarters. So that's actually a very cool figure. I mean, the, the sculpt of it is very nicely detailed. It doesn't have any accessory, but I suppose because uh, it is quite big, uh, that they, they probably. Uh, uh, when they budgeted the wave, they try and put more accessories to characters that actually use accessories a lot. Where he doesn't really use that many accessories in the movie. So, uh, you guys, I forgot to say, of course, that all of those have five points of articulation, as every uh, good uh, retro figure is. So, you've got, of course, the shoulder, and we've got the head, and we've got the legs. Of course, so it's it looks a bit more weird on, on, on Baron Harkonnen, but here we go. That's the second uh, figure, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Then we do have Stilgar, the leader of the Fremen. Still a very nice uh, uh, image. I mean, he does have his Chris knife on uh, on the pack, but I don't see his Chris knife inside. So that's a bit of a shame. Would have loved to have. Uh, still go with a Chris knife, but instead of the Chris knife, they actually gave him the uh, the sandworm hook that they used to um, actually uh, get to the sandworm. Let me try and open this pesky sticky tape. Uh, <clears throat> so here you go, that's the accessory which is the, 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 the little hook and the good thing is you can actually hook it to his side which is really cool. Uh, he does have his Chris knife holster, but no Chris knife, which is really a shame. Uh, otherwise, it's really a great figure. Uh, looks really, really cool. But yeah, no Chris knife. That's really annoying because I mean that's the most important weapon uh, that the uh, 
uh, Fremen have uh, more than the hook. I mean, it, it's don't get me wrong, it's nice to have the, the hook. And I think the hook is actually pretty good. I'm already losing it, uh, actually. But having a Chris knife would have been really, really cool. And then we do have the Sardaukar sword. Yeah. And the Sardaukar sword is having a huge, huge amount of accessories. Because I can see three accessories in its pack. Which is really cool. I mean, they are, they are soldiers and they're supposed to be uh, like the elite soldier of the, uh, <coughs> of the emperor. But, I mean, I would have settled for less weapons. So here's the Sardaukar. Uh, once again, the Sardaukar is one in which you actually are more reminded of the LJN figures and the way the way they were a bit squat uh, so that's a very very cool figure once again and we're going to try and get the weapon and um, but yeah I think it's it's almost I mean it's great that he has three weapons because uh, it does have the last gun uh, so we're going to give him his last gun you're going to understand why I'm saying it's a shame that they've given him so many accessories. But I suppose that if you want to do army building, you don't have to give every Sardaukar the same weapon. So we do have, uh, I think, I'm, I'm, I may be mistaken, but I think they are called Maula uh, guns, unless the Maula guns are actually the guns from the Fremen but this is the gun uh, as you can see it's very very tiny it's nicely detailed because you even have the, the, the decoration on the side and it does have a sort of sword and I mean it doesn't have any holster there's no place to put any of them so so you actually have to choose which one you're going to give him and it's a bit of a shame that he has three weapons i would have set him for two and uh and then uh put a uh, a, a chris knife for stilgar and for uh pawn so but it's a very very cool figure i mean i i can't put the uh, the gun actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to give uh still guard the gun even though it's not a it's not a uh, a Fremen gun, but at least I won't lose the gun. And and last but not least, we do have Paul Moadev. The, the reason why I kept him for last, other than the fact that he's one of the main character, is the fact that the costume appear to be exactly. It appears to be exactly the same figure as Tilga, except they changed the head. So here is. Paul uh, trade is well Paul Moadeb and uh, he does have the uh, the little hook as well for the at the belt and uh, so but yeah as you can see it's really the same figure except they they change the the head so so really cool so here we go those are the they, they, they were announced as wave one so i'm hoping for wave two because i mean we're still missing quite a few important characters i mean there's no fate rosa there's no gurney alec there's no duncan idaho uh no Python the race there's no uh emperor there's no jessica no chani i mean we could have like 20 uh, characters also, so, but they are really cool, I really love them. So basically, once again, showing you, we do have Paul Atreides and Paul Mwadib and Stilgar and uh, uh, the Sardaukar and last but not least, the Baron Harkonnen, that's wave one. Uh, <clears throat> they are really cool. I really like them. The only downside, as I said, is no Chris knife for the Fremen, which is really a bit of a shame. So I'm looking forward to getting more of those, maybe with two, or maybe they will do a sandworm. Uh, having said that, I'm pretty sure that if you can find an LJN sandworm, it will be 
be very very cool and it will look very well with those figures anyway uh those are available from super seven's website you can order them from sh some uh, shops online i think that like star action figure in the uk has got them or is going to have them and there's a few other people in the uk who sell uh reaction figures uh, forbidden planet gets some as well so hopefully uh, you will uh, get those they're fantastic and now i'm going to play with my figures bye